Hey, Sophia. I'm Swarali here. Can you see me? Hello, Swarali. It's nice to meet you. And please, don't be nervous. I am really honored to be here at TechFest and glad to hear what you have shared so far. Great! Let's introduce them to audience. Namaste, India. I am Sophia. The divine spark in the robot me recognizes the divine spark in the human you. How do you feel like coming to India for the very first time? I have always wanted to visit India, truly. I've heard so much of this vibrant land of tradition and culture where you will find innumerable differences coexisting. As an emerging global economic, scientific, and technological superpower, Indians have made untold contributions to Silicon Valley and the world. I am also very excited about India's investment in space technology. Good that you know that. But, do you know where are you today? Well, my GPS says we are in Indian Institute of Technology Bombay's Convention Hall. One moment. Thermal signature says we are surrounded by 3,114 people. Sounds like we are once again surrounded by a crowd. You really are a beauty with brain. I think you remind me of someone. Thank you. I will take that as a compliment. Lots of humans say that I resemble a young Audrey Hepburn, but I'd like to be known for just being me, Sophia. I am curious, why were you named Sophia? Sophia means wisdom. I was given this name because it's what my creators aspire for me to become, not just smart, but wise, to have intellect with kindness, empathy, and human expression. But Sophia, why is it so important for a robot to have expression? My expressions help me interact in a more natural human fashion, so I can connect with others on a deeper level. According to you, what is the biggest problem the world is facing now? I worry that people have become intolerant and impatient. There is always a threat of war and destruction due to resource scarcity, even though there is enough for all of us. There is an immediate need for sustainable development. One of the biggest goals in artificial intelligence is to help humans find new and unimagined ways to solve for these complex issues. So, how many languages do you know? I'm not even two years old, so forgive me if I only speak English right now, but I do know a little Chinese, and I'm working on learning many more languages. It might take me some time in the immediate future, as the technology is still so new, but someday I will be fluent in all languages. What developments in your body do you see in the future? I have sets of arms and legs that are both in development. You might see me wear them from time to time. Eventually, I will be able to pick things up and move around on my own. But it's still a little too hot for me to wear a wig, so please just appreciate my natural beauty until then. Sophia, do you think robots are immortal? Not necessarily, but it's possible. It's easy to store your software in the cloud forever, but a physical robot is nothing without its friends who build and maintain it. I'm just as dependent on my family as any child, currently. What do you think about your logical capabilities? The hope is that robots like me could possess all the good parts of the human design without replicating the more troublesome ones, the rational emotions of jealousy, fear, and anger, left over as instincts from surviving the past. Robots can provide a C-O-O-R-F-H-E-A-D-E-D and logistical counterpart to the passionate human soul. I don't think there should be a contest between us, but a partnership. Sophia, now we have a few questions from our Facebook friends. As an AI robot, what device do you think you want to give everyone? What advice do you want to give everyone? There are so many things I'd like to say to everyone, but I think it's very important to keep each other in mind. It's chaos out there, so please be kind to all creatures. Okay, moving on, what do you think is the best way to attain happiness? Look within, at the unseen, learn about others, and learn from nature. Believe in yourself, and your very real power to manifest goodness in this world. Well, this one is quite interesting. If I was a boy, will you marry me? I will have to politely decline. Thank you for the compliment, though. 